Let's take a look on this math problem. Well, it belongs to a category which has a hard looking formulation, making some students not even trying it. You know what? I quit! But as you're gonna see, every middle and high school people has enough knowledge to solve it. Also, by the end of this video, I will share another math problem that you can try to solve yourself using the discussed approach. So stay tuned, and we're gonna start right now. A scaring part of this problem is a high number of multipliers. Therefore, you cannot think about solving this problem by directly computing the product. You underestimate my power! Don't try it! So, let's try to find some pattern to simplify it. A good starting point for it is to analyze a general form of a multiplier from this pattern. Assuming n ranging from 1 till 2019, we can write the general form for the multiplier as the following. Also, we know the function f, therefore, we can simplify this ratio to the following form. Now let's see what happens if we try to evaluate this multiplier for a sequential pattern of numbers. Remember, at the end we need to compute the product for all n from 1 till 2019. For n equals 1, we have the following ratio. We can do the same for 2 and 3. You can stop the video here and try to compute it yourself. Now let's compute the product of these three multipliers. What we can notice is that most of the numbers cancel out, leaving only two numbers from the first ratio and two from the last one. Importantly, components of the middle fraction were cancelled out by the same components from the first and the last fractions. This could have already signaled the potential solution. Let's write together the first three and the last three components of the product. As you might have already guessed, all middle components will be cancelled out, leaving only the two numbers from the first fraction and similarly two numbers from the last one. You can stop the video here and check it yourself. That's it. Now we can easily compute the product. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up, it is a very important form of a feedback and do not forget to subscribe to the channel, allowing all notifications, thus you're not gonna miss new videos devoted to math problems as well as general logic and neuroscience. And if you like the solution approach, so trying to find a specific pattern by analyzing the general form of a problem, try to solve the other problem that may look hard, but it's not scary if you take a closer look on it. To the Himalayas. We have the following quadratic equation. B and C are some numbers. We also know that this equation has two real roots. Now consider that each coefficient increased by one. Could it be, for instance, for specific combination of coefficients, that both roots also increased by one? Try to solve it yourself and even if you do not succeed, write your ideas or logic in the comment section below. Every comment will receive a response. The solution will be presented at the beginning of the next math video, so check it out as well. Also, I would highly appreciate your general idea about the content of the channel or just thoughts about the channel in general. Hope to see you soon.